my god, what is this look with my hair? Far out. I need to do something about this hair. Welcome back to my channel, my sweet friends. I have just a beautiful, beautiful collection of vintage clothing to show you guys today. This vintage try-on haul is probably my best one yet. The vintage that I found is just every piece. Every piece is just gorgeous. I'm so excited to share them with you because I'm sure, just like me, you guys are vintage lovers. I'm going to begin with this tee that I'm wearing. This t-shirt has everything that I'm looking for in a t-shirt. It's 100% cotton. It has a high crew neck. It has a cute graphic. I mean, look at this. That's why I'm wearing a hat today. And to disguise the fact that I'm having a very bad hair day. Actually, I'm having a very bad hair six weeks, two months. I am in dire need of a trim and a, 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 a just a, a whole do-over with my hair. Anyway, I digress. Back to the t-shirt. It's so cute, right? I just loved it. It's by Black Millers. When I do find a Millers piece at the thrift that I'm drawn to, it's almost always the black label. I love this wide, almost half sleeve. It's just cute, right? Let us talk about the amazing dress that is on the thumbnail, my friends. So when I'm thrifting, the dress section is very underwhelming. It's mostly horrendous dresses, let me tell you. So I, more often than not, just scan the dresses. So when I saw this flash of pink, I just pulled it out and I was just amazed to find such a gorgeous, exquisitely beautiful, unique piece at the thrift shop. So yes, the color is amazing, but the dress is just amazing in so many ways. It has a beautiful high cowl neck with just a little button detail at the back and a zip closure. It has very sweet embroidery, a drapey balloon sleeve. It cinches in at the waist with this tie. The skirt is midi with embroidered trim on the bottom. But what surprised me about this dress is it's labeled as a size 14. This dress barely fit me, my friends. I am aware that vintage sizes run small, but a size eight dress classified as a 14 just seems wrong to me. So I think there was some kind of error with the tagging of the size. I just absolutely fell in love. It was $8. When I find vintage, even though it may not suit me or fit me, I know gorgeous vintage when I see it. So this one is just exquisite. So the label is Ricky Renee Sydney. It's labeled a size 14 and it's 100% polyester. Let's move into tops now. I found this gorgeous piece, a black sheer short sleeve blouse by the label Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown was an Australian designer. Her brand is no longer around. Her pieces ran for a couple of hundred dollars, I would say. So she was kind of pricey, but affordable for a designer, if you know what I mean. This blouse, I think, is so pretty. You can dress it up or down. I love the ruffle detail. It's just gorgeous. It is sheer, and I don't really wear sheer things. It's just not really my thing. So it actually has buttons that go all the way down and you can wear it buttoned all the way up to the collar if that's your vibe. So the label is Charlie Brown. It's made in China. It's a size 16 and it's 100% silk. I thought this fit me really well. So it's definitely a very small 16, but just again, like I said, beautiful vintage. Okay, so I have another black blouse to show you guys. When I saw this, again, it was just love. I thought this is absolutely gorgeous. First of all, I just love the silhouette. This boxy shape with a three quarter dolman sleeve. It's got a little button cuff as well. The neckline is kind of high, but kind of wide. So it will sit really nicely. There's some embroidery on the neckline and then on the hem as well. And I think this fabric is called Jacquard, if I'm not mistaken. It's kind of got an embossed flower print in the material. So just a beautiful, beautiful boho kind of 70s top. I just thought, wow, I mean, this is special. This is so special. So the label is Shivam. It's made in Thailand. It's a one size fits all and it's 100% polyester. So I have one button up shirt to show you guys. I know it's crazy. It's amazing I don't have five, but just one 
it's special, it's beautiful. It's by the brand Weiss Australia. They are an expensive brand, let me tell you. I just love this color. It's a blue on blue stripe. It's 100% cotton, it's a size 12. There's two chest pockets, a little bit of embroidery where the buttons are. The buttons are covered with this fabric. I'm not sure what that detail is called. And they're very wide sleeves. I love a wide sleeve and a button cuff detail. A simple little pleated detail in the back for a nice drapey movement. Oversized, a gorgeous shirt. Okay, you guys, this next piece, when I saw it, I just thought it was just crazy that I found a piece like this in my local op shop because this to me looks like something, well, definitely from the 70s, if not 60s. It's so Jackie O vibes to me. An amazing piece of vintage. It's a blouse with a drapey sleeve, a beautiful contrast collar. The buttons are exquisite. Two chest pockets. It's got this elastic size hem. The cuffs also have a button detail. I mean, this is just exquisite. It's huge on me and so it was hard to style, but on the right frame, worn with denim, I mean to dress it down. Or if you wanted to dress it up, a beautiful pair of tailored cream trousers. So this one is by Deru for drapes and Damon since 1927. Imported fabric, polyester, made in the USA. Alrighty, so this next Piece. my cousin found when we were thrifting one weekend together and she found it I think it was five dollars and they were having half price on whatever colored tag it was and she tried it on I thought it looked really nice on her and she took it but she visited me not long ago and she gave it back to me and she said because it just it's not me so you can have it, do what you want with it. So I think it's just a beautiful knit top. It's in a gorgeous burgundy with a wide neckline. I'm just so into this boxy shape with a little cap sleeve. I just think it's so flattering. You can wear it, you know, upright or off shoulder. So this is by Bugola Australia. It's 80% mohair, 20% acrylic made in Indonesia. It's beautiful and soft. It doesn't itch. It's quite oversized, so I couldn't find a size on it. It's the kind of piece that may be a one size, and depending on the frame, it would fit differently on everyone. It would create a different silhouette. On me, it was quite oversized and drapey. It's a really beautiful knit top. So I have another knit to show you guys. Now you will be seeing a lot of this style out in, in retail shops at the moment. Cable knit polo tops, kind of like a slim shrunken fit. This is all what's in at the moment and I'm finding it at the thrift shop. The yellow is just so beautiful. Classic, preppy vibes, never ever date. They're so my vibe, I love this piece. So this one is by Jillian Sportswear, it's a size 10. The fabric tag was ripped out, it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful piece, I mean unbelievable. Unbelievable what I'm gonna stop saying that. And the last knit I have to show you is in yellow again. This is very soft pastel yellow, but it's just a classic wool knit in a high neck, a wide sleeve, just beautiful. I mean, pieces like this are just gems because if you pick up a wool knit retail, you're looking at, you know, 140, 120 bucks, you know, for a good quality one. And to think that this is vintage and it's still in such good condition, it's just a beautiful 100% wool knit with a ribbed cuff detail and a ribbed hem at the bottom and the ribbed collar. This one is by Fletcher Jones Australia. It's a size medium and it's 100% wool. So it is no secret that I am a little bit obsessed with Bermuda shorts. I have four pairs to show you guys. So let me begin with the ones that did fit me. This, my friends, I mean, look at that color. Is that not stunning? Now, I know I'm gonna say this wrong. My cousin teases me because she says I pronounce things wrong. Is it cobalt or cobalt? I think it's cobalt, right? Cobalt blue Bermuda shorts. They are just so flattering. A pair of Converse and a really cool vintage graphic tee with a bit of this color in the tee somewhere in the graphic. It's Black Miller's Essentials size 10 it's a polyester viscose blend and it's made in china i have so many bermuda shorts in blue i think i have three shades of blue that i think i'll put this one on my shop but what an amazing fit they are just 
The next pair I have to show you are these plaid ones. When I saw them, I just fell in love. I went and tried them on. They were $8 at the Red Cross, eight or $9, I can't remember. They fit me and I bought them without a question. I have thrifted many pairs of plaid shorts that I have not worn because they just didn't feel right. These ones felt right. They're not too out there. I would even wear them with this t-shirt. How cute would that be? Everything's in the same color family, a real tonal look, a pair of white trainers or white loafers. That's just my vibe, you guys. These are by Toronto, Australia, size 12 but they fit me to perfection. They're like an 810. So now for the pairs that did not fit me right, but I still tried them on for you. This pair is just in a gorgeous color. I find this color is a neutral as well. It can work back with so many colors. It's that beautiful stone blue. This fabric is just amazing and they're cuffed so it makes them look a little bit more dressy. And these had the tags. So this is by Noni B. I'm pretty sure that's a really old tag, right? But I know a vintage tag when I see it. They're a size 14, my friends. They're 100% polyester and they're made in Australia. The last pair are by the brand of my Bermuda shorts. I have four pairs by this brand. So they're by Lisa Fashion, Sydney, Australia, size 14. They're a polyester viscose blend. They're gorgeous. Look, look at this. Look at this pair of Bermuda shorts. They have a button zip closure, this gold button detail here on the belt loops, and one in the back. Just amazing, amazing Bermuda shorts. I found some trousers that don't fit me, but I know how amazing they are. So this is a pair of khaki trousers that are so amazing in their cut. I was so disappointed that they are just too big for me. I thought they may have fit me and worked with a belt, but they're just too big for me. A lot of articles that I find that I fall in love with are not my size, and I'm not going to be wearing things that are so oversized on me anymore. I just find that they just don't do me any favors. I mean, oversized, yes, but two and three and four sizes too big for me is a little bit ridiculous. And I'm just finding my styling's changing in that way a little bit. So these just didn't work on me, but they are amazing. They have pockets. They have a button zip closure with a little bit of pleating. They're a high waist, a mum style cut with a little split in the hem. They have this pocket detail in the back. This is not a functional pocket. So they're just amazing. This khaki color, any color will go with these pants. So these pants are by Hammer Schmidt. These pants didn't have a fabric composition, but I would say they are 100% cotton. And the size, a 12, a good size 12. The next pair of trousers did fit me, but they're just way too long. And I don't want to take them up. I just think it ruins the silhouette of the leg. I just think that they would fit a tall girl perfectly. So these will go on my shop. I love the texture in this trouser pant. They're gray, but they have kind of black flocked thread through it and it just gives them that beautiful winterish kind of look but they're not a heavy fabric they're a polyester they have elastic in the back but a button zip closure at the front belt loops just a beautiful straight leg they're gorgeous these are by Noni B as well and these were a size 10 and they are 100% no they're polyester viscose. If they were not as long and they had pockets, these would be in my wardrobe. I just realized that these pants say Noni and not Noni B. So I wonder if that is actually vintage or if this is the modern label. I'm confused. Maybe I should walk into a Noni B store so I know exactly what I'm talking about. I know that Wendy used to work for Noni B. So Wendy, can you tell me, are these vintage and what's going on with the labels? Okay, so let's move into some skirts. I'm not a corporate girl. I don't wear corporate anything ever. But for the corporate girl, this is a gorgeous pencil skirt in a beautiful navy. The make is just like exquisite. It's a beautifully made corporate skirt with a split in the back, a hidden zip closure. It's by the designer Tina Varagos. It's a size 10 and it's 100% polyester. So my friends, this next skirt weighs a ton, let me tell you, but it is absolutely stunning. 
me. Look at it. Look at this skirt, my friends. I was so sad that this wasn't in my size because if this was, this is so my vibe. I would just, oh my God, style this in so many different ways with a graphic tee, a beautiful blouse, a white button-up shirt and loafers. Okay, so this skirt is by Laura Ashley. Made in China, it's a size 14 and it's 100% linen. The reason I love this skirt so much is that it's quite a casual skirt. It's linen, it's a midi length. Because of the sequence, it just dresses it up a little bit. And I just love the juxtaposition of sequence on something so casual as opposed to sequence on something formal. I just love that look. And that's what makes this skirt so wearable. It's gonna pick up the light during the day. It's gonna twirl and move and have just a gorgeous silhouette. I, I just why couldn't this be in my size? Everything I find that I fall in love with is not in my size. And the way you get into this skirt is this hidden zip on the side and a little clip as well. Come on, you guys, is that not gorgeous? Is that not a beautiful, gorgeous, vintage piece. This is another pair of pants that I wish fit me but are just too big. My cousin actually spotted these when we were thrifting together. I love this print. It is adorable, it is happy, it is cute. So this is a capri pant and capris don't work on me because on me they look like a full length pant where they're supposed to come up just above the ankle and if you roll it up, it doesn't look right. So this is not a style I can wear, number one. It's a size 12, number two, so too big. It's a mid-rise, number three. I just can't wear capris, unfortunately, and these are gorgeous. Just choose any color in this print, the most minimal color, any color. Make sure it's in the top and you have yourself such a cute, unique, individual outfit. So these pants are by Table 8, another Australian brand, which are no longer around. They are a size 12, they are a cotton elastine, blend and they are made in Australia. I have an amazing pair of Palooza pants to show you guys in this amazing, amazing color. It's so different to this pink. This is a musk pink. This is a very hot pink, but they're just gorgeous colors and I think they suit most skin tones. These pants are amazing in a crinkle cut, almost pleated fabric. So these pants are by the designer Wendy Heather and this is her diffusion line too. So there was Wendy Heather and then there was Wendy Heather 2, which was her more affordable line. Another Australian designer who no longer designs, I had pieces of hers in my 20s. I remember there was a boutique close to where I worked and anytime they had a sale, I'd buy pieces from this label. I just loved it. I just loved her aesthetic. So to find a piece by Wendy Heather was very nostalgic. A beautiful piece to take with you when you're traveling. You can dress it up or down. I thought it looked so pretty with this little blouse. I thought it complemented the pants beautifully. So these are a size 10, an elastic waist, 100% polyester, and amazing vintage find. I just can't believe these pieces. These pieces are amazing, you guys. I mean, amazing. I have two pieces of outerwear to show you. I love them both. I wanted them for me. I had no intention of putting them on my shop, but when I got them home and I tried them on and I tried to style them for this portion of the video, they were just, just way too big. I mean, oversized is one thing, but wearing clothing that is just overwhelmingly big on you with just too much fabric and it's heavy is just not a good look. These two pieces will be going on my shop. And I thought I had found, finally, my perfect denim jacket. So when I saw this, it was in a vintage shop. It was $15. I immediately fell in love with the wash of the denim. The denim's gorgeous. And I also look for a wide sleeve. The sleeve has to be wide and this is definitely wide. It's got the hidden pockets, the tabs on the bottom. Everything about this jacket is perfection. So let me let me show you exactly what I mean. You know, this this whole COVID thing has just changed everything about the way we shop when it comes to thrifting. Hardly no fitting rooms are open and you know, thrift shops are usually, it's not a gorgeous space. It's not 
decked out like a boutique with mirrors and beautiful rails. It's the opposite. So some don't even have mirrors and when they do, they're kind of grubby and dirty and blocking some pathway and you have to try and get in there and look. So it's impossible to know what things are actually gonna look like on you until you get them home. It's a size medium, 100% cotton, made in China. Even the buttons had Rickies on them. This is what it looks like, you guys. It's way too big. I mean, it's way too big. My mum and dad laughed at me when I tried it on. They said, you look, you ridiculous. look ridiculous. And I just thought, mm, well, maybe they're right. It's too big. It's way, 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 way too big. You can see, right, my friends? I mean, it's gorgeous. I mean, is it? Is it too big? Maybe. I mean, now that I'm looking at it. No, 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 no. It's too big. My friends, I do apologize for the lighting. The sun keeps coming in and out. I do need to get more lighting for this room. It's just too dark, but just bear with me. I'm working out this new camera. I'll get there. It's just gonna take some time. The final piece to round up my vintage try-on haul is this Adidas sports jacket. It's immense, obviously, but I freaking love it. I love the burgundy, the navy, the white. I love the color blocking. I love the vintage retro Adidas vibes. I love the wide sleeve. I just love it. Apparently, according to my folks, no, I look ridiculous in it. I know the sleeve is big. I know. It's the look I'm going for, but it's just too much, right? And I'm going through something with my style and nothing really feels right and I don't like anything in my wardrobe. This is how it looks. My son doesn't want it. He thinks it's, he thinks it's daddy. He goes, no, no, it's no. I just, it's so cool, right? So what do you think, you guys? Do you see why I love it? It's just so, oh my God, it's so cool. It's so cool, right? I don't know, I just love it. I love the back. It's so cool. This was $8, you guys. I love the three stripes. You know me, I just love stripes. Of course, this is by Adidas. It's a size large. It's made in China. So my friends, that brings us to the end of another video. I really hope you enjoyed my vintage try on thrift haul and I really hope I see you in my next one. Where is the fabric tag on this skirt? Oh my god, this skirt weighs a ton. Oh my god, I'm so sore from this. Oh, here it is, here it is. Engraved on the, on the, on the cotton button. Uh, on the co copper button.